It's time for Dodger Baseball. Live from AT&T Park in San Francisco, Sportsnet LA presents the Giants and the Dodgers. Hi, everybody, and a very pleasant good afternoon to you. We're at AT&T Park, game two of the three-game series, an important game for both the Giants and the Dodgers. The Dodgers trying to win. They only have two games in which to do it and catch Washington to get the home field advantage, and the odds are piling up against them. And for the Giants, they're trying to stay alive and win a wild-card spot. For the Dodgers, Clayton Kershaw will be on the mound, a 12-game winner. More importantly, he is 18-7 and against the Giants and 2-0 and against them this year. A young left-hander named Ty Block. Oh, yes, it figured to be a left-hander, right? He's from Denver, Colorado, made his debut for the Giants in Denver, much to his delight, pitched a couple of scoreless innings. Well, they trot him out for the biggest game in his life today. The Dodgers saw him on the 21st of September, and he pitched three scoreless innings. So those are the principles. The sun is shining brightly here in San Francisco and we'll find out who's singing at the end of the game. Stay tuned. We've got a good ball game coming up right after this. on Sportsnet LA is brought to you exclusively on Spectrum. Hi everybody and a very pleasant Saturday afternoon to you as the Dodgers of 55 root now for the Dodgers of 2016. Couple of pictures of characters named Scully way over on the right. Andre Baruch the famous announcer alongside of him Al Helfer way over on the left and the only championship team in the borough of Brooklyn 1955 
But so often the players of today look back and perhaps the 2016 edition might very well be inspired by the team that had suffered so much frustration for so many years. Dave Roberts is somewhat of a historian and he knows the importance of the year and exactly where the Dodgers are. And despite the fact there is a left hander going today, he has just about his usual lineup, maybe with the exception of Yasiel Puig. Kendrick in left, Turner at third, Seeger at short, Puig in right, Gonzalez at first, Grandall behind the plate, Peterson in center, Utley at second, Kershaw on the mound. A long shot for the Giants, and if he gets in trouble, I'm sure they have a short leash, and that would be Ty Block, a kid out of Denver who actually made his debut as a Giant pitcher in Denver, pitched a couple of innings. Dodgers saw him once briefly this year. First pitch to Howie Kendrick is fouled back, and the count 0 and 1. Kendrick. Hitting 266 with five home runs on the road, a little better numbers than at home. Beautiful afternoon here. And the next pitch, ground ball right side. Joe Panic is on it and makes the play. We'll take a look at the Giants defensively here in the first inning. They shake up with Belt and Panic, Crawford and Beckham, Pagan, Hernandez, and Pence. Buster Posey, as usual, directing things behind the plate. And the 26-year-old Ty Block on the mound. And out on the bay, just beyond right center field, the regatta. It is gorgeous, 65 degrees, a very light breeze blowing out towards right field. The batter now, Justin Turner, who has been a rock for the Dodgers all year, but he has struggled against left-hand pitching. Hitting 277, 27 home runs, 90 RBIs, but hitting only 211 against left handers. The 1 0 pitch, a towering pop fly, panic backing out. Here comes Pence, and the breeze brings it to Pence for the second out. So we have two down in the first inning, and Corey Seeger coming up. A few words about Ty Block. You may or may not remember him. He did pitch three scoreless innings against the Dodgers back on the 21st. He had a scholarship to Creighton University where he majored in financial analysis. Left hand already now on the pitch to Seeger in for a strike and the count 0 and 1. The game, of course, very significant for the Dodgers as far as home field advantage with Washington. Here's the strike one pitch. Check swing. They're going to look. No swing. And the count. One ball and one strike. So for the Dodgers, two games back of Washington, today and tomorrow, a slim chance to get home advantage. The 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. Fastball a little high. Two and one. I'm not sure as his, and his adrenaline is doing it, but uh, Ty Block can't wait to get the ball and pitch. He comes right back to one swung on and missed two and two. We can tell you they're in the bottom of the eighth inning in St. Louis. Cardinals are leading Pittsburgh 4 3. 2 2 pitch way inside ball three. Jed Gurko's eighth inning home run has broken the tie with Pittsburgh and the Cardinals lead 4 3. Should the Giants win and the Cardinals lose, the Giants are then guaranteed a tie. Next pitch fouled away. In fact, to talk about the Giants, I'll wait till they come up. There are so many ifs and maybes and well uh, for Bruce Boshi, I would hate to be the Giant traveling secretary. Here's the 3 2 pitch to Corey Seager. Tied delivers, hit down the left field line, slicing foul back into the crowd. The Dodgers know it's either opening up in Washington or a Dodger stadium. The odds are against them opening up at home, but we'll wait and see. But for the Giants, there are so many possibilities. Three and two, the count to Corey Seager. Block ready in the three two pitch, swung on, ground ball to short. Crawford is up with it, winds up, and throws him out. So Ty Block sets the Dodgers down in order, and now all of the Dodger hopes rest on the shoulders of Clayton Kershaw. What's new?
bottom half of the inning, no score. Two, three, Bruce Boshi selecting tie block. So far, it's worked. Let's take a look now at Bruce's lineup. Offensively, it begins with Gorkas Hernandez in center field. Brandon Beldu homered last night with two men aboard at first. Buster Posey, the catcher. Hunter Pence in right field. Angel Pagan in left. Brandon Crawford at short. Gordon Beckham at third. Joe Panic at second. Ty Block on the mound. On the mound for the Dodgers, well, you run out of superlatives. Kershaw is 12 and 3, 2 and 0 against the Giants this year, 18 and 7 in his career, and here at AT&T Park, 10 wins and 3 losses. He's been absolutely brilliant the last six games against the Giants. Not only did he win four of them without a loss, the earned run average 1.3. So it'll be. Gorkas Hernandez to start it off. Right hand batter playing up on the edge of the grass looking bunt is Justin Turner. And the first pitch of the right hand hitter on the outside corner for a strike and the count 0 and 1. Well, a final score big news in New York. The New York Mets beat Philadelphia and they have clinched a wild card berth. Bunt attempt is missed. And the count 0 and 2. The winning pitcher for the Mets in that game, Bartolo Colon, picked up his 15th win. So we know one wild card, but we're still waiting about the Giants and the Cardinals. Giants could clinch with a win today. Here's the strike two pitch on the way. Full swing and a foul ball, and the count stays 0 and 2. For Clayton Kershaw, working on Gorkas Hernandez. In his 10 victories at AT&T Park, he's allowed only 44 hits in 90 innings, allowing five earned runs over that entire stretch. 0 oh and 2, the count to Gorkas Hernandez. Clayton delivers. Bad swing on a good curveball, and down goes Hernandez, badly fooled. So one away, and we can take a look now at the Dodgers with the leather, and they shape up this way. Gonzalez and Utley, Seeger and Turner, Kendrick, Peterson and Puig, and the battery of Grandall and Kershaw. So here's Brandon Belt, who came up with that big three run home run. He had a marvelous evening. Kershaw deals and is on the inside corner for his fight. Belt had a walk, then he doubled, singled, hit a three run home run. And a perfect evening. He was then hit by a pitch. Strike one pitch on the way. Swung on, driven to center and deep. Back goes Peterson, turns and makes the catch. So Belt hit that right on the button, but right at Jock Peterson. So two down and Buster Posey coming up. One other thing in this wild circumstance of a game the Giants could clinch with a win if. The Cardinals lost, but the Cardinals just came from behind, so we'll have to wait and see. Buster Posey, 
not doing much. Nobody really does against Kershaw. Clayton ready in the pitch to Buster swung on a high fly ball but playable. Peterson is calling but coming over is Kendrick to make the catch. So the Giants go quickly and at the end of an inning no score. On Sportsnet LA is brought to you exclusively on Spectrum. Looking back, there's young Scully, as Red Barber called him, the captain of the Dodgers, Harold Pee Wee Reese, and broadcaster Connie Desmond. That's going back a lot of years. Meanwhile, here's Yasiel Puig against Ty Block, takes a strike. Back in those days, there was unusual chemistry in the Dodger broadcasting booth. Red Barber was the father. Connie Desmond was the older brother and I was the kid. Strike one pitch lifted in the air off first base foul ground and making a nice play is Brandon Belt. So Freed fouls out the belt. One down here in the second inning and the batter will be Adrian Gonzalez. Todd Block really doesn't have many numbers against the Dodgers. But Adrian has consistency. Ten years, 90 or more RBIs as he checks in. Block is 6'2", about 200 pounds. He'll be 26 the 20th of October and his first pitch in for a strike. I mentioned earlier that it is madness trying to figure out what will happen, could happen with the Giants. Strike one pitch low and away. The Giants could win the wild card position. And if they did, they would host the wild card game on Wednesday. That is, if they win. Here's the 1 1 pitch on the way. Fastball finds the mark. 1 and 2. If the Giants finish in a two way tie for the wild card, they'd go on the road and play the Cardinals. One two pitch line drive by the diving Beckham into left field. So Gonzalez hangs out a line to left. Dodgers first hit and that will bring up Yasmani Grandal. So the switch hitting catcher who has meant so much to the Dodgers. Good catcher and great power. 27 home runs 71 RBIs leading the major league catchers with the 27 home run. So Grand Dahl with Jock Peterson on deck and Ty Block looking in. Dodgers do not do well or have not done well against left handers at the strike. At home they're OK. They're 16 and 10. But on the road six wins 12 losses. 
So what that it balances the scales 22 and 22 strike one pitch is low one ball and one strike to Grandall Peterson on deck. So the Dodgers playing the lineup that normally goes against right hand pitching but they're going to see a lot of left handers so they might as well go with the first string against left handers today. One one pitch on the way high and outside two and one the count. If the Giants finish with a second wild card position they'll go on the road and play a wild card game on Wednesday Two one pitch foul back. Meanwhile the Cardinals have just beaten Pittsburgh so the plot thickens the Cardinals were down three nothing and win it on a Gurko home run four three. All right two and two the count to Grandall and he backs out as they say block is really high out there on the mound with adrenaline he just can't wait to pitch left hander looks in getting a sign Gonzalez away from first belt right near him and the pitch of the plate in the dirt good block by Posey to push the ball out in front of the plate Gonzalez nowhere to go Giants and Dodgers you knew circumstances would not allow this to be just an exhibition game finishing up the season still a lot of stake for each team three and two one down we'll check Gonzalez very short lead is not going and the pitch is ball four the grand draws the walk Gonzalez moves to second and with one out Jock Peterson coming up so Peterson hitting 248 doing very well when you combine on base percentage and slugging he's had a wonderful month third for this month and of course here we are talking about this month it's October 1 where did all the time go two on one out second inning no score and the pitch by block that finds the mark for a strike Dodgers are in a ballpark really they would just as soon not be in and that's AT&T Park in the last 18 games here the Dodgers have won four block slows down a little bit now maybe Posey told him to slow down the strike one pitch to Peterson swung on little ground ball to short the quick feed for one the throw to first double play. Six four three double play. Hey for anybody. So that youngster in mom's lap. What does it say? It's too cute to be a Giants fan. <laughs> oh, we go to the bottom of the second. No score.
bottom of the second inning as we sail along here at AT&T Park. Gorgeous day, 65 degrees, perfect day, sellout crowd, and the game means a lot to each team. Dodgers wondering about Washington. Giants get the news that the Cardinals won. And here's Hunter Pence, then Angel Pagan, and Brandon Crawford. Hunter Pence is not looking forward to any at bats against Clayton Kershaw. He has six hits and he's hitting less than 100 against the left hander. Fastball away, ball one. I've always enjoyed Pence because he's so full of beans. It looks like his heart and soul is in every game, constantly fidgeting, and by the way, hitting a solid 290. Kershaw ready and comes back. Big swing and a miss. Last night, Pence not only went 0 for 5, he had some of the most hellacious swings you'll ever see. It looked like he was just going to make up his mind to swing no matter where the ball was, and a lot of them were way out of the strike zone. He fouls the next one back, and the count one ball and two strikes. Hunter Pence, he's a big man, 6'4, 215, out of Texas, extremely, and we were talking about it last night. Consistent with a home, day, night, left handers, right handers. Here's the one two pitch on the way. Clayton's pitch is outside. For Pence, 285 at home, 282 away, 285 left handers, 283 right handers, 289 day, 281 night. 2 2 pitch on the way. Big breaking ball, badly fooled, and Pence will strike out for the third time in the two games. So one away here in the second. Kershaw picks up his second. Taking a look at the lowest earned run average for pitchers who have worked here at least 45 innings. Kershaw's ERA 1.3. Matt Latos might surprise 1.6. Derek Lowe who pitches here 1.9. Then you get to Randy Johnson and Greg Maddox. But Kershaw atop the list. Here is Angel Pagan. Kershaw has struck out two. Angel a switch hitter batting right handed and takes low ball one. How about Pagan? He's been around a long time. He's hitting 273. He has five doubles and 18 hits against Kershaw. He promptly swings, lifts one foul to the right of the plate. It looks like Grandall has a play and he makes the catch. So two out second inning Kershaw has retired five in a row and Brandon Crawford coming up. Crawford along with Javier Lopez the winner of the Willie Mack the Willie McCovey Award and Crawford just means a great deal to this ball club. He has blossomed into a solid hitter. He has 12 home runs 83 RBIs and in his last six game 10 for 20 and add to that. He is reached by walk, base hit, whatever, in 19 straight games. Kershaw, both feet on the rubber, into his windup, and the left-handed deals. Fastball, ground ball, backhanded by Seeger. The long throw in plenty of time. Kershaw has retired six in a row. He made only seven pitches in the first inning, so he's hardly expended any, and eight more in the second for a total of 15 pitches. At the end of two, no score.
Top of the third, no score. Chase Utley will lead it off, then Clayton Kershaw and Howie Kendrick. Looking in as Ty Block, the young left-hander from Denver, turns on the rubber, and the first pitch to Utley is taken for a strike, and the count 0 and 1. Ty Block, as we mentioned, they say a short leash. Albert Suarez would probably be the first man out of the giant bullpen if Block stumbles. Slow breaking ball is low, and the count one ball and one strike. Block basically got the nod, although there was great talk about Albert Suarez pitching, but he got the nod because the Giants have struggled so much against left handers. The 1 1 pitch on the way, and that's low ball two. If they go to Suarez, they would also counter with a starter, Jeff Samarja, who might pitch in relief. Saturday is his day to throw anyway. So there's Jeff, windbreaker, sunglasses taken in the game. 2 1 pitch on the way. Utley takes a strike, and that evens it up. 2 and 2. So if, and it's a big if, but at the same time, numbers tell you Kershaw will beat the Giants, then tomorrow is really an incredible day. 2 2 pitch on the way. Left hand is little cutter just off the plate. Utley started his swing and held up, and the count goes 3 and 2. Take a look. Just did hold it back. Three and two to Chase Utley. Here comes Ty Block over the top fastball foul back, and the count three and two. So Chase Utley, the veteran. Remember way back in spring training, people saying, "Well, he's 37 years old. He can play occasionally when somebody gets hurt." And boy, he's been a fixture. Three and two to Chase. Fastball is in there, and down to first goes Utley, and they haven't broken the news to him yet. That was strike three, Chase. So there will be no chase right now. We have one out in the third inning. Fastball got him. It was low by the time it was caught, but it was knee high passing the plate. A lot of people always look at the catcher catching the ball as to whether it's a ball or a strike, but that's not the story. Now, Here's Kershaw taking a strike. 0 and 1 the count. Strike one pitch on the way in the dirt. 1 and 1 the count. So Clayton Kershaw, the ace, top pitcher in the league, one of the top pitchers in the major league, and a raw kid from Denver on the mound trying to beat him. 1 1 fastball is low. 2 and 1 the count. Clayton not bad with the bat. 2 1 pitch on the way. Another fastball in there. Very light breeze, just moving the flags around, but it certainly has picked up more than at the start of the game. The regatta out there taking advantage. The next one to Clayton, he knows. Strike three, and he walks away. Say, friends, you can get your postseason LNL Division Championship gear at the official team stores at Dodger Stadium. Stadium team stores are open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 5 at the top of the park. On game day, store opens two hours prior to the first pitch. So here's Howie Kendrick, grounded out in the first inning, and takes a strike. 0 and 1. Howie hitting 256, eight home runs, off speed pitch, whack foul off to the right upstairs. The dimensions here in the ballpark 339 down the left field line 399 to center a power alley however in left center is 382. Here's the next pitch and that's in there so the kid Ty block strikes out the side getting Messrs Upley Kershaw and Kendrick and at the end of two and a half innings no score.
of the third inning. They are not fishing. Those of you watching on television, they're in boats. Yes, they're out on the water. Yes, but they are looking for home runs. Though the trio waits back of right field, others on the sea are sailing happily along with that nice breeze. Crowd standing room only, another sellout, and Kershaw ready to pitch to Beckham, then panic and block. Kershaw had made 15 pitches the first two innings. Fastball is lifted to shallow left field. Seeger going out, but Kendrick comes in. How he makes the catch. One pitch and one away. Well, we told you the Mets won. We told you the Cardinals won. There's one other game, one shirt tail hanging out. Washington. They are leading Miami in the second inning. One to nothing. Tanner Roark pitching for Washington with that early lead. That game, of course, important for the Dodgers, still to decide home field advantage. So here's Joe Panic. Kershaw ready the first pitch of the left hand hitter in for a strike and the count 0 and 1 panic hitting 267 not bad going up against Clayton Kershaw rocks and turns left hander comes back 0 1 big overhand curveball at missed one ball and one strike if you look at the numbers Angel Pagan has 18 hits and five doubles against Kershaw but no one really has what you'd call tremendous numbers the one one pitch on the way fastball slice foul off to the left one and two the only home runs Buster Posey has two home runs against Kershaw in the past and Ari Adrianza has the other one. Kershaw looks in getting the sign flashed out by Grandall and the one two pitch on the way sidearm fastball a little sink to it. It's first time we've seen that. So Kershaw dropping the arm angle take a look. And all of a sudden there he goes. But then leaning towards first base he had to raise it a little bit. Comes back over the top and it's hit in the air foul down the left field line. It is another sellout. Nothing new here in San Francisco. Today will be the 488th sellout at AT&T Park. Two balls and two strikes the count. One out, no score, bottom of the third. Clayton Reddy bends a breaking ball in the dirt, and that runs the count three and two. Kershaw has struck out two. Ty Block struck out the side in the top of the third. No score. It's the beginning of fall and it feels like playoff time for sure. Three two pitch on the way. Clayton's pitch a little chopper to the right of the mound. He picks it up underhands it in time and that'll do it for panic. So we have two out in the third inning. Kershaw has retired eight in a row. Brandon Belt hit a long fly ball to center. Posey hit a pretty good fly ball to left, and that's about it. Everybody else, pretty easy outs. Have no idea about Ty Block swinging the bat, but we'll find out in a moment. Left hand pitcher, right hand batter. Kershaw looks over the tips of his glove, goes to his windup, fastball for a strike. And the count 0 and 1. Clayton Kershaw and Ty Block. Here's the strike one pitch on the way. Clayton back with a pitch fouled away off to the right. Block, pretty much of an aggressive swing, so he's up there to try and hit, not just going through the motions. 0 and 2 the count. Clayton reading Grandall and his strike two pitch big curveball little comebacker picked up by Clayton low throw to first and retiring the side nine in a row retired by Clayton Kershaw at the end of three no score.
Dodger Baseball on Sportsnet LA is brought to you by the Dodge Challenger. Test drive one at your local Dodge dealer today. And by BJ's Restaurant and Brew House. Stop by today and make every moment count. Two men with whom I shared the microphone and my friendship. Don Drysdale on the left and Ross Porter on the right. They were great times, great mixes of personalities. A lovely time indeed. Meanwhile, on a spectacularly lovely day in San Francisco, a canopy of brilliant blue overhead. That might be a good sign for the Dodgers. Interesting that one time way back in the uh, I think it was the 30s the Giants wore blue. I mean you always think of them as orange and black but not necessarily so. There's also the gag about that glove. There are four fingers on that glove and up here they say they gave the other finger to Los Angeles. And here's Justin Turner against Ty Block. First pitch strike. Block struck out the side in the third inning. Utley, Kershaw, and Kendrick. Turner flied to right in the first inning. Strike one pitch on the way. Off speed breaking ball hit foul. And the count 0 and 2. Dodgers have lost six of eight here, and as we mentioned earlier, 14 of 18. This has been a slaughterhouse for Dodger hopes. They're trying to change history today. Strike two pitch on the way. Block delivers fastball fouled away at 92. So Turner's still there 0 and 2. When we came up here and went to do games in Candlestick because of the wind the weather the crowd had a meanness to it not just angry and annoyed a meanness strike two pitch on the way very high here at at and Park totally different if you are a master in psychological thought as far as attitude and atmosphere it is a great place to come to now one two pitch fastball jammed him on the hands fouled it away ah yes the cable car get on the turntable pick it up Powell Street and go all the way down to one of the great fish restaurants and of course the Dodger pennant is right there atop the Giants for the moment one two pitch on the way fastball is low two and two interesting if you just want to talk about the Western Division who's better the Giants or the Dodgers would you believe a tie each team 43 and 31 in the division 2 2 on the way fastball hit the short Brandon Crawford takes two steps and throws him out so Turner goes down and Corey Seager coming up you know if the Giants being realistic if the Giants had played 500 or a hair better from the All Star game on, they would be in first place. Boshi would probably have, oh, maybe a four game lead on the Dodgers, but they didn't, so they don't. Corey takes a breaking ball up for ball one. Seeger grounded a short in the first inning on deck. Yasio Pui. Block is right back ready to pitch. The 1 0 pitch on the way, breaking ball missing, ball two. I don't really like to quote myself but I remember with Bob Gibson I once said he pitches like he's double parked. Well Ty Block is pitching that way right now. Here he comes 2 and 0 oh, and it's fouled back to the screen on a good fastball at 92. Corey Seager what a wonderful freshman year. Boy he would be a big man on campus. Came hitting 311. 26 home runs, 72 runs batted in, slashes one foul out of play. Corey with 193 hits. When you talk about a rookie, he has absolutely run away with all the honors, except maybe being second in home runs. Here's the 2 2 pitch coming up, and it is swung on, slow chopper to the right side. Panic is on it, and that's the second out.
So Panic gave up a base hit to Gonzalez and walked Randall, but Peterson hit into a double play. Now Puig, who fouled out, coming up. So you come to San Francisco, they boo Puig. You go to Los Angeles, and they will be Bumgarner. But always a kind of a nice feeling. No, no bitterness. Just partisan power. And they are here today, a lot of blue, joining the orange and black. The first pitch from Ty Block, and that's outside, ball one. One and oh, the count. Puig doing well since being called back from Oklahoma City. 1 0 pitch on the way. Sinker, but that's low. And the count goes 2 and 0. So Yasiel Puig now trying to get something started here against Block. And it's tough to go. He's allowed just one hit. His 2 0 pitch on the way. The young left handed delivers. Fouled away by Yasiel. Plea came into the game hitting 266, but the last 11 games hitting 385. Home run, five RBIs, four doubles. 2 1 pitch coming up. Fastball pulled to the hole, base hit to left field. So Yasiel Puig, a two out single to left, and the batter now will be Adrian Gonzalez, who singled to left in the second inning. So Puig doing what the good ones do, not reacting, just playing ball. And with the crowd booing him, he singles sharply to left field. Adrian Gonzalez, one for one, checking in. So a bump in the road right now for Ty Block. Gives up his second hit. He has walked one, but he has struck out three. Ty looks at Puig, now comes to the plate off speed on the outside part. 0 oh and 1 the count. Gonzalez, really the key to his success, he hits the ball where it's pitched. Rarely will he try to pull a pitch away, he'll just go with it. Strike one pitch on the way, block over the top fastball, swung on and missed, got that right in on the hands. So he jumps out in front of Gonzalez, no balls and two strikes. We were giving you the dimensions of the ballpark, and the left hand hitter has a short fence, 309 from home plate. Adrian takes outside. So it's somewhat like the Dodgers, 399 to center, then it really falls away. Or if you start at right field, you go to the deepest part in the ballpark. 421 feet in right center. Nothing like that at Dodger Stadium. One and two to Adrian Gonzalez. One ball, two strikes. Block goes to first. Easy read for Puig. He was going back to the bag. Ty Block. Spells that name B L A C H. Pronounced Block. Two out, fourth inning, no score. Puig at first, and he goes, and the pitch fouled away. So Yasiel off on the pitch. Gonzalez fouls it away. Puig does not do a lot of running, and I guess the best thing to say yet. He has stolen five out of seven, looking at Chris Woodward and listening to George Lombard. Yasiel takes his lead. Block, knowing that he ran before, looks over at him. Now comes to the plate. He's not running. And the pitch high and the way the crowd groans, thinking that was a strike. Boshi, quiet. Kerwin Danley, who's been around quite a while, is the plate umpire. So he's got plenty of experience. 20 years as a National League umpire. Throw to first, Puig back in. Kerwin worked a World Series in 2008. Played a lot of baseball in college. In fact, he was a first team All-American as a player. Winds up as a plate umpire. 2-2 pitch, off speed, lifted to deep right center. However, it's playable. And the center fielder, Gorkas Hernandez, makes the catch. That's a long way to hit it for an out. 
So as the cable cars come along here at San Francisco, so does the ball game. No score. In the middle of a sea of orange and black, we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. No score for the Dodgers. They have their ace, Kershaw, who has retired nine in a row. Young Ty Block has done well. He's gotten through four innings, shutting the Dodgers down. He's allowed two hits and nothing else. So Kershaw pitching to the young man from Venezuela. Gorkis Gustavo Hernandez covers a lot of ground in center field and has a very good arm as he fouls a pitch away made a wonderful throw to nail Justin Turner at third base last night. So Turner certainly knows at the other end trying to get to third and Gorkis threw him out by 10 15 feet strike one pitch on the way. Hot ground ball to the right side. Up he stays with it and takes care. One away. Friends, the 2017 World Baseball Classic coming to Dodger Stadium March 20th through the 22nd. Don't miss your chance to see the world's best baseball players compete for the title in the championship round. So visit worldbaseballclassic.com for more information today. One away, and now here is Brandon Belt, who had that big night last night. He has a lot of trouble, however, with Kershaw. He also has a lot of company. Fly to center in the first inning. Belt came into the game hitting 083 against Clayton. One ball and no strikes. Brandon swings and a foul ball out of play. One and one. Brandon Belt has had. 49 at bats against Clayton Kershaw and he is hitting 061 right now three for the 49 one ball and one strike Kershaw comes right back one one swung on pull foul outside of first an update Washington leading Miami one nothing but it's only the top of the third inning. Dodgers need two. They need two wins and they need Washington to lose twice to get home field advantage. One two pitch on the way. Clayton drops that arm and strikes him out. Not a big side armor but he has taken that arm right out of its normal delivery. Basically you see him over the top see him kind of curl down and then bring it up sitting up here. It looks a little unusual and he's only done it. Two or three times in the game. He has also retired 11 in a row. 
And the batter is Buster Posey, who flied to left field in the first inning. Oh, a note. If you were watching last night, Posey struck out and seemed to say something to Carlos Ruiz as he walked away. Is the pitch to Buster. Big slow curveball missing for ball one. Rich Hill was really hyper last night on the mound. At first we thought maybe Posey's bad at hit Ruiz or maybe Ruiz had said something and Posey was talking back to him. Here's the 1 0 pitch on the way to Buster and he promptly bangs it to left at the feet of Kendrick for the single to break it after 11 in a row retired Posey gets the single 11. What Posey said to Ruiz was a complaint. He said to Ruiz referring to Rich Hill he's throwing too much emotion on a strikeout. Nothing more than that. And of course watching Rich Hill he was really pumped last night. So a two out single and here is Hunter Pence struck out. He'd really been a wild man at the plate in this series. Kershaw out of a stretch looks at first fastball lifted in the air back of first down the line. Adrian has some room and makes the catch. So Pence is pumped and he can't wait to swing and he fouls out no runs one hit and a man left at the end of four tough innings no score. On Sportsnet LA is brought to you by Southern California Toyota dealers. Toyota's clearance countdown is on. Get the biggest savings of the year on the 2016 Prius family. What an honor and what a joy to be alongside of the great John Wooden back in 2008. We were at the Nokia Theater. They had about 8,000 people there, and all we did was sit and talk. And he was magical. Check swing by Grandall, but it's going to be a strike, and they count 0 and 1. So Block getting ahead of the hitters, doing a very good job. Grandall walked back in the second inning. Strike one pitch on the way. Drops another one in there. Strike two. I can remember first coming to Los Angeles. We had a little apartment in Brentwood. And I was coming home with some groceries, both arms heavily filled. Strike two pitch, that'll do it for Grand Dog. And I came to our little fence in front of the apartment house, and it had a hatch. He had to lift the hatch in order to open the gate. And I was completely out to lunch because of all the packages. And I heard a voice say, Just a minute, I'll hold that for you. And this man came over, I had never seen him before, and he opened up the gate to let me in. And he said, uh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm John Wooden, the basketball coach at UCLA. Never forgot it. Pitch is lifted foul off third. Coming over is Beckham. The wind seems to bring it back to him. And he makes the catch. 
So table that one gone with the wind. Two out and Chase Utley coming up. Another thing that uh, John Wooden did that was really touching that night at the Nokia. All of a sudden that's eight years ago. He had a youngster come up from the audience and he showed the boy how to put his sweat socks on before putting on his sneakers. And apparently I was told later that was what John Wooden did to the basketball team at UCLA. He taught them how to put their socks on little ground ball to panic. That'll be that. The reason he taught them how to put the socks on properly so they would not get blisters. That took only five pitches no blisters there and at the end of four and a half no score. Join the 2017 Dodger family. Sign up now for the season seat or mini plan that you want. It'll be registered and fans will be contacted by a Dodger season ticket rep on a first come first serve basis. Visit Dodgers.com slash season tickets or call 866 Dodgers today. Angel Pagan will start it off. Clayton Ruddy and deals first pitcher strike. The Dodgers certainly would be delighted for the Giants to cooperate. They've been talking about Clayton Kershaw and his stamina. Well, so far the Giants have made it easy. He'd made only 36 pitches. He's had seven outs where he had two pitches or less. One and one the count. So after four innings, 35 pitches. You do the math, less than four. Per inning. Here's the 1 1 pitch coming up. Clayton's pitch is lifted to left field and deep. Back goes Kendrick to the track at the wall. It's gone. Home run for Angel Pagan. And the Giants lead 1 to nothing. Pagan had five doubles in the past, but this is the first home run that he has against Clayton Kershaw. In case you wonder, Kershaw has now allowed eight home runs this year. So one to nothing, San Francisco. And the champ now beat LA as Clayton works on Crawford, who hits one foul off to the left out of play, and the count on one. Oh, it figures. It's the Giants, the Dodgers. They'll run you up the wall. And Pagan right now hits one into the seats. One to nothing, San Francisco. 
Crawford grounded a short 0 for 1 off speed pitch couldn't wait tried to came up empty and the count 0 and 2. Matt Moore a left hander of course will go for the Giants against Kenta Maeda tomorrow. No balls and two strikes. Kershaw ready and here he comes. Ground ball to first. Adrian will take it to the bag for the first out. So one away in the fifth inning and Gordon James Beckham the third coming up. With all those names a good solid ball player signed with the White Sox first round pick out of the University of Georgia had a great career with Chicago and actually played for the Angels two years ago. First pitch by the left hander a strike 0 and 1. Beckham when he signed with the White Sox he had a big contract. He signed for two point six million dollars. So you know he had a lot of ability. Oh and two. Fastball on the outside corner and down goes Beckham. Though we have two down, one to nothing Giants, and Joe Panic will hit back to the box coming up. Panic's a New York boy, born in Yonkers, lives in Hopewell Junction. He always wore number 12, starting all the way back when he was in Little League. He won number 12 in tribute to Wade Boggs. First pitch missing ball one one and zero. Oh. panic was a first round pick by the Giants went to school at St. John's University that was five years ago. Ground ball to the right side to Utley and another routine out however Angel Pagan was not a routine out the home run to left representing the only run in the game and at the end of five one nothing Giants. Eighteen year old started for the Seals of San Francisco playing shortstop. At the end of the game, he signed for the next year where he had 28 home runs and 169 RBI. The year 1932, and the player Joe DiMaggio. Let's get back to this one. And this one's a dandy. And the first pitch to Kershaw for a strike, 0 and 1. Jolton Joe DiMaggio we want you on our side 
Boy that was a big song when he had that 56 game hitting streak. Little number and that'll do it for Clayton one away. The classic story about Joe DiMaggio when he was married to Marilyn Monroe and she went on an army tour helping the G.I.s etc. And when she came home she said oh Joe you never heard such roars from the crowd and very softly Joe said yes I did. Kendrick Bunch good bunt picked up by the glove at third by Beckham to throw him out. So Kershaw goes two three Kendrick goes five three and just like that two out base is empty and Justin Turner coming up. Bend it like Beckham he made a dandy on that play. Turner has flied to right grounded to short Beckham talking to Chris Woodard the Dodgers third base coach. Knowing Chris he probably complimented Beckham nice play. That's in the dirt one ball no strikes. Turner over two struggling against left handers all year. Two and oh. It's the rare time that tie block has been behind on a hitter. He has four strikeouts. One walk. Fastball at the knees outside corner. Justin body language. Thought it was outside or low or both. Kerwin Danley says thanks for the tip. And they count two balls in one strike. Sinker. A bottom drops out of that thing. Two and two. A lot of enthusiasm for the crowd. This game means so much for the Giants. Cardinals won. Two balls, two strikes. Ground ball to panic. Oh hum for tie block. And we're heading to the bottom of the sixth inning. One to nothing San Francisco. History presented by Spectrum. On this date in 1955, trailing the Yankees two games to none in the World Series, the Dodgers pulled out an 8-5 win at Ebbets Field. The boys from Brooklyn would win the series in seven games, giving the Dodgers their first World Series championship. And we go now to the bottom of the sixth inning tie block. 
then Gorkas Hernandez and Brandon Belt. Kershaw giving up a home run to Pagan in 17 lifetime starts here. He's only given up six home runs. And that's ball one to block. Who hit him? Well, Melky Cabrera, two by Madison Bumgarner, Ere Adrianza, Matt Duffy, and today Angel Pagan. That's a strike. One ball and one strike. Block hit back to the box in the third inning. Giants leading one nothing bottom of the sixth and that's going to be lined to right field and Block gets himself a base hit. Great effort by Puig figuring that the hitter being a pitcher might jog the first. Yasiel tried to get him but couldn't quite do it. So Block just hits the ball hard to right field and Puig is thinking be ready I'm going to throw guns it in there but block hurrying I'm sure first base coach Bill Hayes was screaming at him and Puig unable to get him but Yasiel had a good thought. Clayton Kershaw in a little meeting now with Adrian Gonzalez just looking it up block only had one big league at bat and he was 0 for 1. So now he's 1 for 2, hitting 500 in the major league. Gorkas Hernandez struck out, grounded out. Turner in on the grass, looking bunt. 0 and 1. Hernandez checking with Roberto Kelly, who spent a little time as a Dodger. Block very short lead Gonzalez holding Kershaw looks at him and decides to go over there block kind of startled the Giants like Gorkas Hernandez he drew some comparisons to Kenny Lofton as a speedster a gap hitter and the guy covers a lot of ground in the outfield. Meanwhile, a lot of thinking going on with Block at first. His coach Bill Hayes talking to him, Randolph talking to Kershaw. And with nobody out, they're trying to figure out what to do with Gorkas Hernandez. Is he going to try to lay one down? Turner and Seeger had a very brief chat for a minute. If Turner comes, Seeger having to cover third in Kent of a wild throw. So there's a lot going on right now, even though it seems to be so quiet. Very short lead by Block. Barely off the bat. Hernandez fouls it away. 0 oh 2. One thing about Hernandez and it's pretty hard to teach somebody but those who know watching him play said he doesn't have much bat speed. That means he's late on those good fastballs. Pretty hard to speed somebody up in that category. Oh and two. Fastball in the dirt. One and two. Kershaw here in the sixth inning has only made 52 pitches. However, he's losing one nothing to just one peak. That was to Angel Pagan. Crowd pretty quiet right now. See what develops. Block increasing the lead, but by a foot. Fastball foul back. Helmet mask off of Yasmani Grandal. One ball and two strikes six out. Angel Pagan hit a home run leading off the fifth inning. That's it. Dodgers have had one man get to second base. That was Adrian Gonzalez back in the second inning. Kershaw retired 11 in a row before he gave up his first base hit. 
off speed crack back ground ball to Turner they get one late at first five four force play Hernandez who runs well beats the throw and we have one out for the Giants they have a speedster with belt and Posey coming up waiting to see if the Dodgers will ask for a review Cowboy Joe West talking to the players we're waiting to see doesn't look like a review close but he's beaten the throw Cowboy Joe gave me a book I have it at home on the cover it says everything I know about broadcasting by Vince Scully and when you open it up all the pages are blank <laughs> that was my gift from Cowboy Joe he is a character one away and here's Brandon Belt Joe by the way has been umpiring hold your breath in the National League this is his 39th year. Hmm. Oh and one. So you have Hernandez who runs very well at first base Kershaw who has a very good pickoff move to first and the left hand hitting belt at the plate. Hernandez even though he runs well does not have any knowledge of the pitchers so he is 0 for 1 as far as stolen bases right side of the infield loaded up for belt and when you get a timid runner it's a good idea to throw over there maybe even take another step away from him though well, Hernandez the rookie I'm sure is not thinking I'm going to steal I'm sure he's thinking I don't want to get picked off big difference slow and misses one ball and one strike Brandon Belt a multi talented first baseman the kid from Texas fly to center deep struck out Brandon gives you a good strike zone he's six feet five. That's just off the corner. Two and one the count. Kershaw only 57 pitches, and we're in the sixth inning. We talk about Kershaw being so tough with the base running traffic. His numbers are amazing. Fastball, that's going to go foul. And the count two and two hoping the wind will bring it back and that was a good idea. Corey Seager was not going to quit on it and it wound up barely getting back in the stand. Get to Kershaw handling the traffic little little breeze but not much. Kershaw has allowed 59 stolen bases. He has picked off 58 and caught stealing 56 so they just don't run on him Hernandez leaning a little two and two the count to belt there he goes pitch is lifted to left center it will be the left field of Kendrick fighting the breeze and the sun back to first base goes Gorkas two out and Buster Posey coming up. Good plays by Howie Kendrick. It is a tough position, and especially up here. I mean, when you look at left field, you go from 339 at the base of the foul pole all the way over to 382. And then in center field, the player's a long way away. Today, it's Jock Peterson. Posey has flied the lap, single a lap. Kershaw had retired 11 in a row and then Posey single on one one to nothing on Angel Pagan's home run 
We're now in the sixth. The home run was in the fifth. Cardinals won, so there's great pressure on the Giants. Washington leading pressure on the Dodgers as far as home field advantage. Low. That Washington game now goes to the fifth inning. Washington won, Miami nothing. One and one the count to Buster Posey. Giants are hurting coming into the game for that matter for the series. Edward Nunez out with a bad hamstring. He was hitting 269 and he had a total of 12 home runs counting the American League and the National. One and one. Slow and high. 72 mile an hour change up. That was not that big slow curveball. That was just a floater. Little soap bubble. Two and one. Now will he come back with a fastball at 92? No. Instead, line drive foul down the line. That was a breaking ball. A little dangerous, and Posey pulled it, but a little too much. Go so back to first. Goes Hernandez. Two down here in the sixth inning. One to nothing Giants. Dodgers in the seventh. It'll be Seeger, Puig, and Gonzalez. Two down, two and two. Posey, 77 RBIs. Gorkas, short lead. Two and two. That stayed up. So three and two with two down, so a speedy runner can be going on the pitch. One difference in Kershaw, and he's breezing along as Pence waits on deck. He's only had five swings and misses. That's not like Clayton. Three and two. Hernandez goes late. Foul ball. Gorkas was certainly thinking negatively. He did not want to get picked off. But he waited until that pitch was on its way. Could be important on a play at the bases. Posey fly the lap, single a lap. You can see Clayton's pitches, most pitches in an inning, 19 here in the sixth inning, but only 65 pitches. Three and two. Hernandez goes and it's ball four and brings up what has been a wild swinger in Hunter Penn. Pence has struck out, fouled out, hitting 289. There has had three strikeouts in the two games. All right, two on, two out, one nothing Giants. First trouble. For Kershaw today, the run came on a home run. Fastball strike. For Pence, that's the way it's been for two games. He takes the strike and chases anything outside of the plate. 
and yet a very good hitter. On one. Two out two on one nothing Giants. One and one. Hernandez at second Posey at first. Remember the inning began when the pitcher Ty Block got his first major league hit to right field. We tried to throw him out and then Hernandez hit into a fourth place. One ball and one strike. Ground ball back a third. There is Turner with the long throw just in time. So Giants leave two six innings in the books and it's still one to nothing San Francisco. Dodger Baseball on Sportsnet LA is brought to you by Nissan. Choose Nissan today for great offers on our most exciting lineup ever. Shop online at ChooseNissan.com. That was the radio and TV area in Ebbets Field. Notice the screen. It was not there when I first started and a foul ball came back. Red Barber almost hit in the face. And they put the screen up. That's a far cry from what we have now. Meanwhile, one pitch, one out on a shot off Seeger's bat right to Brandon Belt. Yeah, they have really thin things in every ballpark. Oh, by the way, while we're looking in that area, the paid attendance 41,320, the 488th. Consecutive sellout at AT&T Park. It has certainly been the right number. Here's Puig. Check swing strike. Yes, he'll foul out to belt single to left. Eleven home runs, 45 runs batted in. What he wants to do is start against a right-hander. But the way Reddick has been playing in right field, he has to bide his time way out in front of that off speed. It almost looked like a screwball. 0 oh 2. Just kind of turned over his game. Fastball got him. So on the heels of a great changeup. That set him up for a fastball down the middle. That was right there. So for Yassiel, he goes to school on that sequence. By the way, talking about his changeup, Ty Block, they say that on that 
scouting rank 20 to 80. It's at least a 60. So here's Gonzalez single to left fly to center and a strike. Block has walked one. That was Grandall way back in the second inning. Gonzalez single to left fly to center. That's off the plate. Well, the Dodgers losing one to nothing. Washington, the last we heard, leading one to nothing. Breeze has really picked up the right field. In on the knuckles. Two and one. And of course, with a left hand hitter and the wind blowing out, only water on the back of the standing room only crowd in right field. Two and one. Three and one. Grandall waiting on deck. Block has retired nine in a row. There's a ground ball to panic in shallow right field. And another great inning by Ty Block. And that block is blocking the Dodgers as well in their attempt to have home field advantage. It's still one nothing Giants. Nothing. The only precious run in the game provided by Angel Pagan hitting a home run. Only the sixth home run that Kershaw has ever given up here at AT&T Park. And it is a huge run, especially with Washington leading in its game. They're in the bottom of the fifth inning. Washington two, Miami nothing. So the Giants, since the Cardinals won, trying to win to stay alive in their wild card and if the Giants win the Dodgers then if Washington well they've run out of games only one left and Washington would have the home field advantage. It really is when you think about it a David and Goliath game Clayton Kershaw against a young left hander just really starting out he was pitching at Sacramento this year. And block was 14 and 7. One and one. Kershaw, by the way, is due to bat fourth when the Dodgers come up in the eighth inning. Talking about Washington, they're heading for the top of the sixth inning, leading Miami 2 nothing. Tanner Rourke pitching that one. 0 oh and 2. And that's promptly hit into right field for a base hit. 
So Angel Pagan is two for three against Kershaw. He was hitting over 270 against Clayton. And he now has 20 hits. So Pagan, a leadoff single to right. That brings up Brandon Crawford. One run, four hits for the Giants. Dodgers, no runs, two hits. Brandon Crawford grounded to short, grounded to first. He's reached one way or another. 19 straight. There goes Pagan. A comeback of that kicks away from Kershaw. Picked up by Turner. He throws it away. Going to third base is Pagan. Puig is up with the ball in the bullpen. Pagan will score. And going to third is Crawford. And the Giants lead two to nothing. So a Karen shot off the body of Kershaw. Then the hurried throw that got away. Runners going. There's the Karen shot. Here comes Turner trying to get him. Hurried throw to the right of Gonzalez and going down the line. Puig has to go in the bullpen. The Giants have a run. They have another runner at third. Nobody out. And the Dodger infield is up. So we're waiting for the full scoring. But I would guess first it'd be a base hit. There's a high fly ball to deep center. Peterson goes back, tagging up easily as Crawford to jog in, and the Giants now lead three to nothing. If you're keeping score, first of all, give Crawford a base hit. That would be off Kershaw's body. Then the off-balance throw that was an error charged to Justin Turner. And you're pretty well caught up now as Joe Panic checks in. Foul ball, 0 and 1. Tanner Roark doing the work for Washington. They're leading Miami 2 0. Giants are leading 3 0. Dodgers lose this, and they've run out of a chance for home field advantage. One ball and one strike. Panic hit back to the box and grounded out. Turner still thinking about that tough play first to react on the carom the ball wasn't coming to you Justin had a charge off balance tried to make the throw couldn't do it two and one fast ball hit to Turner almost dropped it picks it up makes the play. So here's the man. It is the, one of the oldest stories we know of, David and Goliath. And yet today in baseball, you're looking at David at the plate, and certainly here at AT&T Park and just about everywhere else, the Goliath named Clayton Kershaw. Block single to right field in the sixth inning, ball one. One ball and no strikes. Fastball for a strike, one and one. So Kershaw is due to bat fourth in the eighth inning. And I know his attitude today going in, as it was all the time, he wanted to go nine. Ground ball to the hole, smothered, but gets away from Utley. And it's another base hit for Block. He's two for three.
So Utley diving, got his glove on the ball, but couldn't hold it. Now the batter will be Gorkas Hernandez. Two down, block at first, very short lead. He's got some pitching to do, so I'm sure Bill Hayes talked to him. Short lead, take it easy. High fly ball to right field. Puig back to his left and puts it away. However, big damage done here in the seventh inning. And as we go to the eighth, Giants three, Dodgers nothing. Dodger Baseball on Sportsnet LA is brought to you by BMW. See a Southern California BMW Center today for exceptional offers or visit SoCalBMW.com. I'm sure the Dodgers pitching great Don Newcomb is taking in the game. And for Don, we send the message. I was chatting with Willie Mays today, and your name came up. And I said, you know, Willie. Don just celebrated his 90th birthday and Mays was in shock. He had no idea that Don was 90. Willie's 85 in case you wondered. Nuke. Ball one. Yasmani Grandal has walked struck out. Batting right handed. Against block. Fouled away. Boy if ever a pitcher was aptly named. To stop the Dodgers. A man named Block. Meanwhile, Kenley Jansen pouring at the dirt down in the bullpen. Dodgers are trailing 3 0. Down in the giant bullpen, they have the left hander Will Smith and the right hander Hunter Strickland. Two and one. After strike, two and two. Yes, money thinking it was high. We saw Cassia, who had been the main closer. We saw him briefly last night. Two and two. Fouled away. So the name is Block, B L A C H, out of Colorado. A fifth round pick by the Giants out of Creighton University. Two and two. Ground ball hard, up with it, long throw for Crawford on the money. One out in the eighth. By the way, in talking about nice defensive plays, Ty Block is a very good extra infielder. He was singled out among all minor league pitchers by Rawlings and minor league baseball. 
winner of the award this year. Peterson hit into a double play fouled out 0 for 2 and flares one shallow into right field base hit. So a one out single will bring up Chase Utley. A little soft single to right. The way Block has been pitching the Dodgers will take anything to get aboard. Gonzalez singled in the second Puig single in the fourth and now Peterson. With the left hand hitting Utley and Kershaw due up, T.K. Hernandez out on deck. Utley has struck out, grounded out, 0 for 2. Waiting for more reports on Washington. Nothing forthcoming for the moment. And ball one to chase. One ball and no strikes. Peterson at first, one out. A little ground ball wide at third. Beckham down to second, almost threw it away. Great play by Joe Panic. Boy, the reflexes of big leaguers are amazing. I mean, Panic's running to the bag. Beckham throws a sinker, and somehow Joe stays with it. Big break for the Giants. Wonderful play by Panic. Whoops, almost into right field. So it's a force play, 5 4. Big play by Joe Panic. Utley aboard. TK Hernandez will be coming up. For TK coming up, hitting in the 270s against left handers, if you're Dave Roberts, you say to TK, make believe it's Bumgarner. Ball one. Washington leading Miami two to nothing bottom of the sixth inning as Madison looks on. And ball two. The rare times maybe two or three it seems that block has been behind a hitter. Fouled away, two and one. So for Clayton Kershaw, it's over today. Clayton wound up seven innings and three runs. Gave up six hits. Kershaw did not walk anybody, but he was not the overpowering Clayton at all. That's his fine. Remember we had given you the note a little earlier and it was kind of a tip off. There were only five swings and misses. So we wound up with four strikeouts and one more. Two and two the count to Kike. Utley at first. Kike back up. Crowd really into it now. Got him. Well, Hernandez strikes out. Six strikeouts for Ty Block. And we're going to the bottom of the eighth. Three nothing, San Francisco.
The Dodger calendar reads one more game here. That'll be tomorrow at noon. And then the Dodgers will hit the road and they will be playing the Washington Nationals in Washington unless somehow the Dodgers win this game and Washington loses. But Washington right now out in front 2 nothing. Kenley Jansen rare if ever do you see him pitching with the Dodgers trailing by three in the eighth inning. But with the big games coming up in the postseason Dave Roberts has to make sure the big guys getting his work in. The Jansen will be facing Belt Posey and Pence. Belt having a foul ball interestingly enough foul ball on his back foot. Big leaguers normally foul it on the front foot. Sergio Romo is throwing in the giant bullpen so we're not quite sure about block. Oh and two. There's Sergio the boy from Brawley. And from the looks of things Ty Block is done for the day everybody giving him fives and hugs. What a story for him today. There'll be a long distance call to Colorado after this one for sure. You know Ty Block was taken two picks behind Ross Stripling in the fifth round in 2012 and remember Stripling almost had a, a no hitter up here. And now Block comes back to pitch a gem. Two and two the count to Brandon Bell 41,320 smiles all around when you get a smile from Jake Peavy on the right you've done a terrific job when a Cy Young winner applauds your work. That's a pat on the back two and two. And three and two. So it looks like block is done and it certainly looks like Romo is getting ready. Buster Posey on deck. Block, by the way, wound up making 99 pitches. So what a day. Three and two. Fouled away. Those cutters, of course, have been tremendous for Kenley Jansen. Henley nine walks and 102 strikeouts and make it 10 walks. Buster Posey coming up against Kershaw. Posey flied the left, single a left, and walked. Posey, brilliant young player, going all the way back to 2010. Everybody knew he was special. He was the rookie of the year. Then later on, an MVP. He's been in three All Stars, three World Series winning teams in five years. Crowds him with that fastball, almost hit him on the hip. One ball and no strikes. Hunter Pence waiting on deck. Little flip over there to first. Henley taking a lot of time. High fly ball up into the breeze. It's blowing it towards Puig. Now he has to go back. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the way it used to be all the time at Candlestick Park. As soon as you arrived, you looked at the flags, and you had better watch those flags up here. 
We've told it many times. Casey Stengel would bring the Mets here and they would take infield. But instead of hitting ground balls to practice, everything Casey hit was in the air. And somebody said, what about ground balls? And Casey said, no, no trouble up here on ground balls. It's the balls in the air, and Puig certainly can testify to that. So Posey is out, one down, and here is Pence. And he's been taking strikes and then making some wild swings. He has struck out, fouled out, grounded out, and yet terrific player. Means a great deal of the team. That's a strike. Alex Wood gets up in the Dodger bullpen. Angel Pagan switch hitter on deck. Henley walk belt got Posey. When the Dodgers come up in the ninth it'll be the top of the order. Fastball hit into right field base hit. Belt will stop at second. So Hunter Pence singles to right. Pagan a switch hitter so we'll see about Alex Wood throwing in the pen. I would guess looking at the lineup Alex Wood is getting ready if necessary to face Brandon Crawford. Pagan fouled out homered and singled. So Roberts has Alex Wood definitely pitching in his mind Crawford and he'd also face Beckham in this inning. Jansen however wants to get a couple of outs. Ball one. Pagan thinking bunt not for a sacrifice with one out. Pagan has 12 home runs this year six hit left handed six hit right handed his home run today right handed one ball no strikes fastball missed Kenley does not look sharp you can understand why Alex Wood was called up and getting ready Washington has given up a run. They're now in the bottom of the sixth inning Washington two, Miami one. We're in the bottom of the eighth three nothing San Francisco. And that's low. Roberts a little perplexed. Looking out at Ben Kenley walking around on the grass. Crowd of course loving it. 41,320. Imagine 488 consecutive sellouts. And the breeze has picked up. 3 and 0. Oh, otherwise, he misses now. Bases are loaded. He got his strike. Three and one. Remember, coming into this game, the Dodgers had lost 14 of the last 18 played here. That goes back to 2015. Three and one. One out. Three nothing Giants. And ball four to load the bases. So now let's see the reason for Alex Wood up and throwing. You have the left hand hitting Brandon Crawford, all eyes on Dave Roberts. Well, Dave seems to be holding his ground. If you're Alex Wood down there in the bullpen, you're saying, well, now wait a minute. Why am I throwing? 
They're passing along the word to Alex. Mesa loaded one out eighth inning three nothing Giants. Dodgers will have Kendrick Turner Seeger in the ninth inning. And a strike. Jansen with his remarkable control has walked two in one inning. You don't see that very often. Two walks and a base hit to load him up. Belt is at third, Pence at second, Pagan at first, one out. Crawford one for three today. It was Crawford who hit that hard comebacker off Kershaw's body. It deflected over towards third. Turner tried to make the play. The off balance hurry throw threw it away. And that was a big moment. Two runs scored. Brandon Crawford's first major league hit was a grand slam home run, believe it or not. And he's up here now, 0 and 2. And down he goes. Crawford looked like he chased one up out of the strike zone. And now Kershaw wants to talk to Grandall about Beckham. How have you been pitching this guy? Look at this pitch. It's up there. That's got to be out of the zone. So Crawford helps out by striking out. So here is Beckham flied to left, struck out, had a sack fly for an RBI. Alex Wood still tossing away. Joe Panic, who bats eighth, is a left handed batter. Beckham turned 30 this month. Come over from the American League, National League. You don't need the pitchers. They've hired him for six games, and what a time to be hired. Going right down to the wire. One and one. One and two. 95 mile an hour cutter. It looks like it's here and winds up there. Kenley appeared that he was having a little trouble getting loose. One reason why he walked two, I'm sure. Now trying to put Beckham away and get out of the jam. Two out. One ball and two strikes. Edward Nunez would be playing, but he's out. Check swing foul. I'm not sure when Nunez would be ready to play, so there'll be a heavy load on the shoulders of Beckham. Nunez just staring. He has a hamstring pull. Meanwhile, for Jansen, he's ready to make his 25th pitch in the inning. One and two. And down goes Beckham to go 0 for 4. Jansen strikes out Crawford and Beckham leading three. And for the Dodgers, it's time to do or not. Ninth inning, Kendrick, Turner, Seeger, and maybe Puig. Three nothing Giants.
Dodger baseball on Sportsnet LA is brought to you exclusively on Spectrum. They called him Stosh. He played the harmonica and he was as friendly a guy who ever played the game. Stan the Great Musial. It was in Ebbets Field where he got the nickname the man. They couldn't get him out there. If Musial had ever played for the Dodgers I don't know how many records he would have broken. Well now to the game Sergio Romo is not going to face Kendrick. He's going to look at Josh Reddick. So Reddick hitting for Kendrick. Little slider for a strike. Oh and one. Romo never leaves home without that slider. Little straight kind of a change. One ball one strike. Reddick who finally went through all the pain of a new league and all the pitchers. Josh now doing very well. And promptly hits a hopper backhanded by Panic throws back. In time to get him. Nice play by Panic. One away. Say, friends, you know the most popular way to follow the postseason? MLB.com at bat, number one app for live baseball. You can enjoy game day, live game video highlights, stat cast, news, and more. So get MLB.com at bat on your favorite device now. Well, it has been a classic story. The kid, Ty Block, nobody knew anything about him except he was living in Denver and Centennial, went to school at Creighton, had pitched three innings against the Dodgers back in September, and what a gem he pitched today. Sinker, oh, and one to Turner. For the Dodgers, they find out one thing for sure. They're going to have to open up in Washington. Corey Seager on deck. For well, the Giants still up in the air. Line drive foul. Justin Turner 0 for 3. Flied to right, grounded to second and short. Made the throwing error on an impossible play on the ball hit up the body of Clayton Kershaw. But here's the boy from Brawley. Sergio Romo. Oh and two. Slider rolled to the left of short. Crawford makes the play. So two nice plays. One by Panic, that one by Crawford, and the Dodgers are down to their last out. So one part of the puzzle will be answered. The Dodgers will be going on the road to Washington. The Giants, however, anything can happen with them. They'll be tied with the Cardinals going into tomorrow's game. And here's the chant, beat L.A., and they're beating it thanks to Ty Block. Licking his lips as if he can taste his first victory. Seeger, two ground balls and lined out. 0 for 3. Another off speed pitch. So first it was Casilla, then it was Strickland, then it was Lowe, and they've gone back through the pages for Sergio Romo. One pitch away from giving Block a victory. On deck, Andre Ethier, who had bat for Yasiel Puig. Fastball. Though so with sliders and changes, then he tries to sneak in the fastball. Romo is about 5'10, maybe 5'11. Weighs around 180 pounds. 33 years old. Born in Brawley, lives in Phoenix. Oh. 
Down and away, one and two. So the Giants are very much alive in the wild card and the Dodgers now know they are heading for Washington and for tie block David still has beaten Goliath. He is one and one his first victory in the big leagues beaten Clayton Kershaw who was virtually impossible to beat here at AT and T but not today. Romo by the way made 11 pitches and the player of the game the kid from Denver and that would be Ty Block without a doubt. He turned in a tremendous performance started off the game allowing two hits through four innings and then gave up his third last hit to Peterson in the eighth and then Romo came in and finished off the Dodgers two ground balls and a strikeout. So the Giants now still in the fingernail stage with their game tomorrow against the Dodgers who would love to jerk the rug right out under them. The Cardinals will be watching every pitch. See you tomorrow. Remember 12 o'clock. We'll talk to you then. Till then we wish you all a very pleasant good afternoon everybody.